What you are doing, it's so shameful. I no, just, I thought about it a lot, and uh, I decided I'm, I'm not coming back to Ethiopia. What? Oh, no. You heard her clearly. I'm not coming back to Ethiopia. And y'all, she's serious. <laughs> Ari tells Binyam the last thing he wanted to hear after finding out he's been having parties and other women at their house. Is it normal in your culture to sleep with other women when you're engaged? And guess who told her? Mm-hmm, his own sister. But before you say, what if Wish is just being messy? Ari has receipts. And he got a message from a girl saying, Ooh, we're gonna talk about it. Plus, I want you in my life. Steven didn't care if he could sing or not. So I got to ask. He got on the piano and proposed to Alina. And she said yes. Yes, I did not. Although she was just upset about messages he sent to another girl. He just asked if she wants him to come over, if she wants him to stay tonight. Ooh, hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. This show can be such a roller coaster ride. One week I'm crying for Benyam, and the next I'm like, what are you doing, bro? I thought you wanted to keep your family. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Right. It's been two months since I came to the US for obvious surgery. And since then, things have really deteriorated between Benny and I. All right. Before Ari called Binyam to tell him that she is not coming back to Ethiopia, she revealed that she's been receiving calls from people saying Binyam has been throwing parties at their house. The house her parents helped them get. We moved into a three bedroom house together. It's been really hard for Benny because there's like almost no work. So my parents have been helping us. Mm -hmm. And then, because Benny's photos are being synced to my iCloud, I'm seeing all kinds of people, even faces I've never seen before, in and out of my house. So basically, he's doing what he wants to do and being messy with it. All right, let's get into their combo. A lot was said. Plus, Ari revealed her plans now that she's not going back to Ethiopia. Hi. Hey, how are you? Are you okay? You look tired. She's tired of the drama, Binyam. Plus, never tell a woman that. Are you okay? You look tired. Especially not your woman. Clearly, you don't care how I am. Of course I care what you, what you think. You know you haven't called. You know you haven't asked about Avi. You don't, you don't ask me how I am. You turn the phone off. Because every time you're asking me about some situation, you fight, why you go there, why you do that? I didn't you fight with you. Every time I'm fighting. Binyam kept coming with the generic excuses for a minute, even though it's clear he's just enjoying his freedom. It got to a point where he didn't even believe what he was saying. Why should I trust you, Binyam? You don't answer the phone when I call you. Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing music, like something. For 14 hours? Like, like, for 14 so hours, hours you're doing music? No. Something that really upset Ari is when she saw a photo of their bedroom. I don't know who was sleeping in my bed. And she noticed Binyam took down Avi's bed and put it away. Maybe he didn't want to think about Avi. Anyways, I'm calling. I wanted to tell you something. OK, just tell He knew it was coming. I decided I'm, I'm not coming back to Ethiopia. What? I'm not coming back to Ethiopia. Who are you? You just decided for other people. Your decision, I don't like it, it's not. For my culture, it's disrespectful. Like, just, Stop uh, using your culture so as an excuse. The problem is that he thought he could do what he wanted to do without any repercussions. Is it normal in your culture to sleep with other women when you're engaged? Is that normal? <laughs> he laughed that question off. Binyam went on to say that it's wrong for Ari to decide not to come back to Ethiopia without including him. But you can't expect someone to give you authority when you're out here making reckless decisions. I mean, did he not know his phone was synced to Ari's? And then, because Vinny's photos are being synced to my iCloud. That's how she also found out about this girl he met at the club. I had his messenger on my phone, and he got a message from a girl saying, do you remember me from the other night at the club? Obviously, he's hiding something. Oh, and then his sister Wish told on him, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. She was looking out, but 
being messy at the same time. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. Wish is the one who told me that you had other women in my house and that you've been around with other girls. You know, for, for the health and safety of your family, you should consider getting tested. What? <laughs> what? Vinny's sister Wish texted me and told me there were girls sleeping over the house. Ari told that man to go get tested. She keeps insinuating that he cheated, but you can tell that she does not want to ask him directly. I don't wanna know. Which leads us to the kicker. I am going to give you a chance. Although Ariella is not going back to Ethiopia, she's gonna give Binyam one last opportunity to keep his family. But he has to move with her and Avi to Kenya. So I've decided to go to the neighboring country of Kenya. Yes, Kenya. Oh, wow, I can't believe that. I don't know why at this point she just won't stay home. Another country? She's more interested in saving him than he is in saving himself. Me and Avi and you can move to Mombasa, and we can start over again. All right. Ari says Kenya is neutral territory. That's where Avi was conceived, it's Ethiopia's neighboring country, and Binyam will be away from the evil that's influencing him right now. If you don't want to come to Kenya, we can figure out a custody arrangement and we can co-parent together. That's Those are the options. Binyam told Ari that she's being bossy and he didn't like it. That's when she pulled out that finger and gave him the fire a lot of people would have given him a long time ago. Let me tell you something, Binyam. You listen to me. Shut up, shut the f up, and listen. You have spent the last two months destroying your family. You don't get a say anymore. You have sacrificed nothing. You have God knows who you and God knows what you've been doing, and I don't even care, and I don't even want to know. This is your last chance. So wake up. I'm done with him. Ooh, I've never heard Ari speak to Binyam like that. This is your last chance. Part of me still loves you. Even though you hurt me, I am trying to help you. Honestly, Binyam should be extremely grateful that he has someone who cares for him so much that she's willing to work with him as he matures into the man that he has potential to be. Because the reality is, there is no guarantee that he will get there. But she believes in him or at least she's trying to. Her faith in me really assures me that she's the girl I want to be with forever. Because who else would believe in me like that? Speaking of extreme belief, after stressing Alina out by communicating with other girls online. Alina, what'd you see? He just asked if she wants him to come over, if she wants him to stay tonight. They called each other like, I don't know, some cute names. Steven finally deleted his social media accounts after Alina asked him to a number of times. And a few days later, he put together this elaborate proposal on a boat next to a beautiful waterfall and performed a song that he wrote for Alina. I wanna see you shine. I wanna feel your so I got to ask, ask you to me, <laughs> ask you to me. <laughs> it's probably the greatest achievement of my life to propose to Alina. While the proposal was sweet. Alina. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> And very Steven. Ask you to me. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Wow. <laughs> That's perfect. I just couldn't help but wonder how Alina's mom reacted to the news. She probably was like, no. Forget marriage. Her mom didn't even want Steven to be Alina's boyfriend due to his behavior. No, I be nothing. But hey. Alina is truly a hopeless romantic. I believe in some kind of a fairy tale. She's 20 years old, beautiful, smart, sweet. And for some reason, she wants Steven to be the one so bad. If only she understood that she has time. There is no rush. 
All right. Well, next week, it looks like Ari and Benyam are reuniting in Kenya. I'm scared to see him. He doesn't seem like the same person that I left, and I don't know what to expect. I came for fixing for my relationship. I'm very, very sorry for you and the life that you are going to have. Ooh. You know, based off social media, it seems like they are still together in real time. So if that's the case, I can't wait to see how they manage to work through all of this. All right, 90 Day fans fam. In the meantime, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.